Now, welcome back everybody to the Flight Simulator. For today's video, I thought I could maybe do like a quick introduction for a change. Today, let's talk about aircraft carriers for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 once again. Yeah, this is not my first time talking about this. And while I'm talking about this, not for no reason, and not because I don't have any other video ideas, but because there is a new add-on out here for the Flight Simulator, a new aircraft carrier. And this one I thought looks very interesting. Yeah, this is the Miltech Simulation USS George H.W. Bush. Yeah, this is a beautiful Nimitz class aircraft carriers, which are not the biggest aircraft carriers on this planet. Yeah, I think these Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers are a bit bigger. I'm pretty sure the deck of this one is only like, um, like 70 or something meters long. Not the longest runway we've had on the channel, I guess. But yeah, this is very interesting indeed. Anyway, so the thing about Microsoft Flight Simulator basically always is that it doesn't really have a lot of features if you think about it. It doesn't have functional aircraft carriers. It doesn't even, it doesn't even have proper ships. It doesn't have things like birds flying around and it doesn't even have failures. Like engine fire is not really animated. But those are mostly things that you can gladly enough add into the flight simulator with the help of add-ons here. But that mostly means that you will have to pay, as in this case, uh, 16 bucks for an add-on like this. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a review of this Miltech simulation. There is more to the actual operation of an aircraft carrier than just landing and just like trying to take off from it. No, of course, there has to be systems implemented like the arrestor cable system for the landing, you know, where these little hooks on the fighter jets catch into the uh, actual cables and get stopped that way. It sounds quite like a primitive way to stop an airplane, but it works. And the white planes take off from an aircraft carrier also sound a little bit primitive. They literally get catapulted with a catapult system off the thing, right? Because after all, this flight deck really is only 70 meters long. I, don't, I think I could land this uh, diamond whatever plane we're in quite well here. But honestly, an aircraft carrier without these systems is quite useless. So it is nice that we, of course, with this add-on, have this little software implemented where we can control the aircraft carrier. So um, let's maybe perform a little bit of uh, a landing here at this aircraft carrier indeed now with the actual tail hook system, really. Now, this, uh, this is like the funny thing now about these add-ons. I mean, we've really had one aircraft carrier add-on before and had the same kind of software. You don't even need a proper actual, like, visual tail hook to land a plane. You can land anything here. A 747 as well, no problem. Because, I mean, it's it's kind of like it, it's uh, kind of... Yeah, there we go. This is how the stopping system works. You just kind of try to land somewhat on these cables. And then the actual arrestor cable system is a little bit simulated. Like, it's it kind of stops you... How should I describe it? Synthetically, it's it's kind of fake, but it works. It works. All right. So now we have just been uh, caught in these arrestor cables, and now let's go ahead and release ourselves by retracting the tail hook. Here we go. Let's, can we? Yes. All right. We have perfectly landed here on our aircraft carrier. Of course, not the biggest challenge again in this small plane. And then we kind of have a little bit of a closer look at what this model looks like. I think this is a, a very very nice model. I mean, of course, we have a lot of fighter jets here. Things I have no idea about military aviation actually like I even I don't even know what this plane is this is like the it looks like the f-35 or is that the f-30 that could be the f-35 or something like that this could be an f-18 f-16 and this is a helicopter it's a Korsky helicopter we don't care about helicopters here anyway. As by the way, we're, we're very close to the catapult system. Let's see if it works from here. Yeah, this thing is quite the same here again, here with the catapult system. It will just interact with a simulator and just tell it to get the plane to 200 knots. We can actually set the speed here, which is actually also quite a bit of... That's an opportunity, actually. All right, let's go ahead and set ready to launch, right? Yes. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake and that'll get us going. Yes, it does. Yeah, as you can see, just kind of, again, synthetically, just, just gives us a little bit of speed. But yeah, that's just how the systems work. Now, by the way, let's go and do a little bit of a comparison between this other aircraft carrier for the flight simulator. I can already tell here from the pictures. I've, I've ha I have this add-on. I've reviewed it before. Uh, I can tell from the pictures. It's a... It's a First of all, it's a little bit smaller of a class aircraft carrier, but not only is it smaller, I can also see a little bit of detailing um, differences, right? Yeah, the actual 
modeling it, as you can see, it's not really that good as the Milt. I mean, this really looks very, very nice. I've got, I gotta say that. But it is also a Euro cheaper. So, um, yeah, that's on that. But both are great. Both are great and both work. So, this is a hard one. I don't know which one is better. That's like the thing. They're pretty much the same. Literally, they are the same. See, honestly, I don't even really see the point of making like a new aircraft carrier add-on. Because, I mean, there is already one and it, it does the same. It can do the same and it has the same limitation. Great limitation, actually. See, this is like a main theme of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. It is quite a limited flight simulator. You can tell it was made by French developers, I think, and not Microsoft themselves, Amer an American company, of course. No, honestly, really, you, you can. I mean, for example, there are speed limits. Like, you cannot really exceed a speed. You cannot go like Mach 15, like other flight simulators, or real life, where there's also no speed limitations. Honestly, I don't even know if you could properly simulate even a Concorde here in the flight simulator. That's like the thing. But there's also like some limitations on how high you can go. I think you can only go up to 200,000 feet. So going to like space and looking at the planet from there with an A320, which is not going to work anyway, but you know what I mean? And there's also a great limitation, which uh, makes this add-on and the whole idea of using aircraft carriers here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 pretty tough. And we've just completely died. Oh no, what has that been? I think I didn't deploy the tail hook properly. Oh, I'm sorry. And yeah, you guys have already probably noticed that I should probably learn how to get to the point a little bit quicker. Um, yeah, this aircraft carrier does not move. It doesn't move. Again, because of limitations set by the flight simulator, you know, in order to have like landing surfaces that actually are like, you know, hard or solid, right? That you cannot actually crash through. They have to be static. They cannot move. And well, of course, in real life, an aircraft carrier does move normally, right? In order to make the landing a little bit easier, it moves at high speed, 30 knots around that, which makes, you know, the overall relative airspeed of the aircraft a lot slower, which is a very smart idea. But that is not possible here. It sucks. And we've just landed, by the way. We've landed a little bit hard, haven't we? We've just come. Ha! <laughs> We've annihilated the landing gear. I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah, that very much sucks. But let's just land a 747 smoothly here anyway. Because why not? This is the flight simulator, everybody. Come on, let's do this. Okay, that's been a landing. And we have died. That was not smooth and we have died. Very well. Great! Yeah, I, you know, I should maybe be a little bit more concentratious. Is that even a word? Sounds cool, doesn't it? All right, come on. Let's maybe really try to do this smoothly now. So uh, the tail hook has been deployed. Honestly, this window alone is a little bit annoying. But all right, let's do this. Come on. Let's maybe make this a nice landing here. No! All right, that has really not worked, has it? Okay, great. Let's just uh, check this out here anyway in this replay. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, this touchdown wasn't the best. We might have touched down a little bit late. I tried to make this at least somewhat smooth, and therefore the yeah touchdown zone had to suffer a little bit too much. I mean, the stopping almost worked. Like, it's, it, it stopped, but it didn't stop us enough, the arrestor cable. We did stop. We could have stopped very nicely here, but we were left with 50 knots, and we're now very wet. An anecdote to the study land everybody. I don't know what this video is. But to not end this video with disappointment and suffer, let's go ahead and watch this video again. I've seen this before. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. That's exactly what I'm talking about now. So yeah, that's the Miltech aircraft carriers. Of course, there are a few of them all around the planet. Here are the locations. But uh, that's all that is to it. You know, it's quite a fun add-on. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Scissor, One Sat, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.